This is the second screencast in a short series of screencasts about using the rubrics tool in D2L. In the first video I explained how to create an analytic rubric using the rubrics tool and then attach it to a Dropbox folder. In this video we're going to take a look at assessing student work using that rubric. All right, so um, this is a Dropbox folder. We have a sample submission that I've put in. Go ahead and click on leave feedback just like you would in our last version of this tool or a last version of the software. On this screen uh, you see the basic same things that you did before except for you don't any longer have to expand this to see the rubric and uh, put in feedback. So um, just like it was in the previous version of the software it's as easy as clicking the levels of performance for each of the categories um, in order to provide a student with feedback. The nice thing now though is that you can easily transfer the score so the total number of points that a student achieved that's calculated by the rubric tool to the score field under assessment. Now it will uh, it will calculate based on the number of points that you have assigned here, but it makes it clearer and easier for students to understand if you can provide some explanation or some correlation between the point values that they see at the top and the points that they see available in the score field. So that's my recommendation just for ease of understanding for students. Just like before, you can provide some custom feedback. And uh, if you wanted to, you could edit the feedback here or erase the feedback that students receive. Change your mind. And then go ahead and click on Save. It'll ask you if you want to overwrite the feedback only if you've put something in this feedback box that's um, behind here. Click on Overwrite and then that'll be popped into the Dropbox as well, or I'm sorry, into the grades area as well. So now it shows you that the, the, the feedback was left and the student gets to see all of your comments and the levels of performance on that assignment. So that was a brief explanation of using the rubrics tool to assess student work.